What is this bingo? Yes. So, I thought today we would continue a game that we invented in maybe stream number two, I believe. Very, very early on, we created a game called Republican Bingo. Uh, and how it works is, uh, I mean, it's it's a simple game for, for simple minds, mo mostly mine. We will put together a bingo bingo card of, of, of things that we think that Republican candidates or like sort of wannabe candidates because we know that actually uh, anyone that's kind of actually taking part in the debates is um, very unlikely to get very far in the process. Well, you know, it, it's it's pretty much a done deal. Trump is going to is, is going to take it. And um, it did, it did. So last time, as a few people are mentioning in the chat, it did take a bit of a turn. We, we, we you know, we, we, we must be honest. Um, it turned out that it got quite um, uh, genocide -y quite early on. Um, but, you know, maybe this time will be different. Oh, in fact, if we're going to do this, I need to put on. Where's my little, where's my little America watch? I'm going to adjust it. Oh, oh, what do we think? What was the bingo uh, card generator we used before? We'll find one. Okay, Bingo Baker, apparently. Oh, yes, it was. Okay, friends, let me know. Let's watch some intro. So how do, who do we have? Who do we have? Okay, so on the cards today, we have Ron DeSantis. Nikki Haley. It does. We were saying this last time, Quirty, that... Uh, it it sounds like more than a game show. It's it's like th like this is the the WWE thing, right? Vivek promises to buy half the civil service. Oh wait, uh, making something in the middle is like makes it important, right? Is this too is this too niche? Okay, I like war on suggestions please for things we think might say or happen okay hardworking american family i mean we're doing we're doing like small ones this time low hanging fruit but southern border okay oh i think so recap f1 a little while ago said uh, anybody blaming obama for destroying the country uh, like i think that's a good one because that's like ages ago now like obama has not been the president of the united states for what seven years now or something oh i think um do we go for the phrase judeo-christian a phrase that no one ever uses um in like normal conversation ever uh oh physical comedy yes georgia okay some sort of like fun physical bit oh western civilization is good I'm spelling it with a Z because we're watching Americans. Ronald Reagan is good. The deep state. We see DeSantis's heels. Okay, the WEF. Uh, climate change denial. Um, let's 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 have some like far out. Okay, schools being funded by China. Rag branches. This is where it starts to get uh, a bit genocide bingo-y. Do we think the laptop's coming up again? Okay, okay, okay. Maybe we will have more Hunter Biden laptop. To be fair, we last time I was doubtful and it came up. Oh, Silicon Valley. That's a good one. Oh, Elon Musk? Yeah, someone trying to get like the Elon um uh positive sentiment towards Elon Musk. Oh, okay, center center is just is just is just woke. Okay. Okay, I think we've got a good good card. And I'm Elizabeth Vargas with News Nation and we are live on News Nation and the CW. It is make or break time for the candidates on this stage right now, with the Wait, primary like the CW starting was just in... weeks away. I mean, it sort of makes sense that they're at colleges. They're large um, institutions, right, that have probably have some kind of big hall that they can hold the event itself in, but also will have loads of rooms that you can do. You can have a... a press room and you can have each of these people can have a each of the candidates can have a whole massive room for all of their staff on stage tonight four candidates all vying to become their party's nominee uh, it, just remains, it just remains it just remains amazing that none of these uh, even with it have like the remotest chance of actually being the nominee like 
in many ways they're kind of auditioning to be the next next um candidate just as many republicans acknowledge that former president donald trump's multiple legal troubles could imperil oh, his quest can't see the heels that they would like just out of scream all of which means one of you could wind up the leader of the free okay, world that is true Having <laughs> said sorry. That, there's something brilliant about the first thing that he says being like uh, the the way that one of you could be president is if the, is if the first guy gets gets put in prison or legally banned from running. Super PAC has it spent is. It's the like most a, money, had the most high. It's like a kind of fun sort of reality. Like I don't know. We talk sometimes about politics being a bit like a reality show, but this feels like a kind of mocked up reality show that's happening alongside the actual election. Any one of you could win. None of you will. But still, you know, most people in the audience technically could still win, probably. The one place it didn't crash and burn was in the state of Florida. They weren't predicting the, uh, that I would sad. win the way I did. And I won the greatest I think he looks really quite, quite sad and like teary eyed. We beat the Democrats on election integrity. I can't believe he's done this entire speech mentioning lots of things which all are not on our card. You left government service in 2018 with just $100,000 in the bank. Five years later, you're reportedly worth $8 million, thanks to luc lucrative corporate speeches. And Sorry, just $100,000 in the bank. <laughs> like, like, what? Can't believe you had this measly amount. Well, thank you. It's great to be here. You know, first I'll tell you, um, just to respond to Ron. They're such great, like, as intros. It's just like, okay, I'll, I'll get started from that then. We took on the unions and we took on Obama. When it came to the unions, the Syrian... Hey, we've had Obama. So proper bingo blotter. How does that work? Hey. Okay, yeah, my bingo card is on a different screen. So uh, keep, keep, it, keep an eye, eye on it for me. By debate number three, you called Nikki Haley corrupt, accused Ron DeSantis of wearing high heels, and told Ambassador Haley she should keep a they closer got a mention? eye on her daughter. Can you see? They got a mention, but I think we said they have to be seen, right? Um, yeah, we specifically said that we see the heels. Damn it! Show us the heels. Conclude, you are not like I think that is a good. That's like I. That's more of a solid mention than I thought. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Where are they? We got, we got to hear about Nails. And then gave foreign multinational speeches like Hillary Clinton is. And now you're a multi-millionaire. That uh, what, what do you say when you get one? I don't think you say anything when you get one, do you? Um, but we bankrupt with 100 grand in the bank. Um, but we, we did have uh, Hillary Clinton. Um, I do enjoy people that remain angry at uh, politicians who have not been kind of present for some time. Larry Fink, the king of the woke industrial complex, the ESG movement. Oh. Did we have something industrial complex? No, we didn't, but we do have woke, unsurprisingly. It's fascinating that we've, um, yeah, wo like woke industrial complex, complex is fantastic. Um, I mean, woke generally as a phrase has been a real uh a real moment for conservatives the world over i think because it has really replaced communist or socialist as the ultimate descriptor of things that are bad throughout the second half of the 20th century american conservatives and american liberals had this descriptor of you could describe anything that you thought was bad or improper or a terrible influence on politics and society as being communist or as being socialist and that would serve to discredit it and that worked for many many decades then we had this weird period after the fall of the soviet union where you had anti-communism without any real kind of major without any kind of communism as a force in the world in quite the same way and so it became that little bit 
sort of more malleable in some senses, but there was less of the threat there, right? If you were a American conservative or liberal, that felt like a real threat, right? Because there was another world power that did exist under that system, regardless of whether it was um, an apt way of describing whatever it was that was being talked about. But obviously, once you get to like the 2000s, it becomes a bit of a hollow threat. Woke has kind of become this new stand-in for that same rhetoric. However, it's even more flexible because there just isn't the basis to it. There's not a huge amount of people that are standing up for wokeness, right? Because no one is really subscribed to that. That she says that every American needs to be doxxed by having their ID, their government issued ID, doxed. tied to what. Oh my goodness. Just the permeation of like online language into mainstream um, politics, which is happening in, in the UK as well as in the US. But um, doxed. What does that even. Like, I know he's trying to use it to refer to having your information tracked or whatever <laughs> but but like in real life surely you've already been doxxed but yeah oh yeah yeah no he so he wants to raise the he wants to raise the voting age to 25 uh unless i think like you're in the military or or if you pass or if you pass like the citizen test that people immigrating to america um have to pass and he's like the youngest um, major candidate, the Republican Party, um, like pretty much ever, I think. Um, unless a citizen 18 or older is enrolled in the military, works as a first responder, or takes the test. Um, the military thing realistically being in a way, a way to make sure that it is young people who are likely to vote Republican. The other two things... I this ESG, they call it environment, social governance, and again, Nikki is meeting with all these people. Uh, they want to use economic power to impose a left-wing agenda on this country. They want basically... It's like the thing against... The thing against ESG funds is fascinating because an ESG fund, so an um, environmental, social, and governance fund, uh, is A, something that not... Like, people haven't generally heard of. <laughs> like, it's not a thing that people were already talking about. But at the same time, the ESG stuff is also generally not that effective. Um, an ESG fund is a, a investment fund in which inclusion in that fund uh, requires a company to meet certain criteria with regards to the environment and corporate governance for example you could do an esg version of the s p 500 for example in which you took the existing s p 500 and then you uh, looked through and you checked which of those companies met whatever standards it was that you wanted them to hit and then you go oh, okay so now we've got um, this uh, a slightly thinned down list that is a little bit more ethical but um, they tend to not be particularly great I'm like I'm fairly sure there has been funds that have been labeled as ESG funds and they still have oil companies in it like it depends who's marking it right it depends who's doing the paperwork I don't know it's not like it's fair trade or it's one of those things where you have to legally pass certain things to get the stamp. Whoever is managing that fund can kind of decide how they are measuring that stuff. So it's also all a bit of a damp squib anyway. I really appreciate it. How are you doing, sir? Good, good to see you. Can you please speak <laughs> to the, the requirement that you said that every anonymous internet user needs to out themselves. They're both hitting you on it. I would be happy to, and I love all the attention, fellas. Thank you for that. Um, you know, I will- 
She's I'll got say this. What I said was that social media companies need to show us their algorithms. I also said there are millions of bots on social media right now. They're foreign, they're Chinese, they're Iranian. I will always fight for freedom of speech for Americans. The four countries, America, foreign, Chinese, and <laughs> the four nationalities, American, foreign, Chinese, and Iranian. Those are the, the world is just those four things. No, the regime would use that to weaponize that against our own people. Okay, it was so, a bad so idea, I have to say, and she should own up to it. I love the idea that you could categorize anything by being led by Joe Biden as the regime. Like, just this incredibly old man who doesn't know entirely where he is at any moment. I've got these three guys who are all seemingly to compete um, with, you know, Voldemort. He or shall not be named. They don't want to talk about it. The, the fact is that when you go and you say the truth about somebody who is a dictator, a bully... I, quite, I do quite like... This is quite a... This is quite the energy to bring to bring into it. To be fair, this is quite. <laughs> it's like, oh, uh, like, oh, we didn't ha we didn't have a Harry Potter mention on our bingo card. Would it include sending American forces into combat? We have to look out for our people when they're hostages, Commander in Chief. You have to do whatever you can to get them done. But we did have uh, suggest. This was actually our kind of wild card option was the suggestion that the US should invade another country. Um, I did not think this would actually come up. I also did not expect it to be the moderator that suggested it. Um, but uh, we have stamped another one. I really was not expecting that one to happen. Yeah, look, so Zio saying, when, when is new war a vote winner? I think that's probably the biggest thing is, is do, do people want a war? I served uh, in, in Iraq back in the day. Uh, I'm the yeah, only one running like for president that served in the military. Uh, I understand that part of the oh, world. Oh, we didn't have that. Uh, it's not the we didn't have. Uh, I didn't. We didn't have as a mum, as a dad, as a whatever. We also didn't have reference to best military part of the service. world. When you're president of the United oh, States, no, I, you're not going to have a choice. I think we've ended up with critical support for Chris Christie, and like I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure he's going to say something horrific maybe at some point but uh but oh like there is just something quite appealing about having someone who's there just to be like a, a bit of a dick just as a father of two sons my sole moral duty is to my family as the father as of two president. sons like we really should have had did we have as a anything no i feel like we might have missed a war on dot 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 I'm a sister, a daughter, a niece, and a cousin. If you, if you looked at this terrorist attack and the number of Americans, this would be one of the top 10 terrorist attacks in American history. So our own people... I don't think... I don't think describe it as a top 10. That's not... That's not... That, that's not the words you want to use. You do this at money. every debate. You go out on the stump and you say something. All of us see it on video. We confront you out on the debate stage. You say you didn't say it, and then you back away. And I want to I'll say tell you what. Exactly no, what I I, said, Chris. I'm not I done yet. Well, this now is now look. This is not a spew. This is not a spew nonsense. Let me tell you something. This is the fourth debate. The fourth debate that you would be voted in the first 20 minutes as the most obnoxious blowhard in America. So <laughs> shut up for a little while. I'm going to respond to that. I want to say something. Like it's, if nothing else, it's, 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 it's good telly. Um, I think what makes this good telly is the fact that the stakes are low. Oh, you think that counts as physical comedy? To, to be fair, mm -hmm. with like the proper angry man. Okay, we'll give it. We'll give it. We're now 25 minutes into this debate, and he has insulted Nikki Haley's. It was like Chris Christie's job is just to go, it's this many minutes into the debate. Keep everyone updated. This is a smart, accomplished woman. You should stop insulting so her. So I'm going to take this. <laughs> so first of all, CSFJW. he's worked out that he knows the time and that people, the first time round, it worked when he said the time. And if it works, if it works once, you keep doing it, right? We have been noticing that 
um nikki haley who has um a considerable amount more financial support than some of the others is also getting much bigger cheers um and actually vivek specifically started like pointing to people in the audience when i was in iraq the iraq the the al-qaeda wasn't wearing a uniform you'd see anyone walking down the street they all had man dresses on you didn't know if someone had a, a bomb an ied attached or not and so you can we take a minute for man dresses for which i think he meant really offensively and i don't think should be funny but like <laughs> so i don't know like man dresses sounds like the kind of phrase that someone who is a man who likes wearing dresses but um is worried about what other people uh, would would think about that would would ref the way that they would refer to their to their dresses hot take i don't know if this is a hot take but um, is that there's a whole thing on youtube where people will talk about their everyday carry and essentially what they actually mean um is that they've they've got a handbag right and i think they should just embrace that um everyday carry thing if we had a wall across the southern border, which I support, this would not have happened. We need to build a wall across the southern border. I'll get it done, and I'll make for I'll, Mexico is supposed to pay for it. Remember, here's how you do that. I'm going to have on remittances from. You fluffed the line. It's meant to be like a line. Like we're going to have a wall, and Mexico is going to pay for it. Like that's the line. You forgot that bit of the line. I am not going to sit there and allow mothers to lose more kids because of fentanyl overdose. I am not going to sit there oh, and let sex fentanyl. trafficking go unabated or Thank human you. trafficking oh, no. go unabated. Okay. There's going to be a new sheriff. In okay, we said specifically fentanyl candy. Given how this is going, um, we are going to, I think we're going to allow this. I think the baby story uh, will let us have that one. All of the seven or eight million illegals that have come under Biden's watch absolutely have to go back we have to stop the ins i think that's like only the second mention of joe biden the sitting president of the united states interestingly enough joe biden has kept a lot of the stuff on trade going like normal relations have not been um renewed and in fact the u.s has currently tanked the world trade organization essentially or they've like refused to appoint judges to it um which means that like international trade is now if you have any disputes is like impossible she wrote a love letter to the chinese ambassador saying how great a friend china is you can look at it we put it on our website rondesantis.com there's also a video of her <laughs> as governor standing it's real like check out my soundcloud halfway through there uh we've got we should have gone for just china i think we didn't quite get schools being funded by china i think i'm ticking it though I can't believe you got rondesantis.com. Good going, man. Oh, I think Chris Christie is brewing here. Chris Christie is brewing. He's had, a, he's had enough of this. But I want to get back to this issue of the root cause, because a lot of these are coming from labs in Wuhan, China, of all places. <laughs> drug materials that are going to the Mexican drug cartels. I think Wuhan is just the, the, the sole place in China that that this audience has heard of so if you mention a place and if you specifically want to mention a place in china you you probably pick wuhan right legal pharmaceuticals in mexico it's no coincidence is the exact same country that also unleashed hell on the world with the covid 19 pandemic we also have to hold them only one with china. every financial lever that we have available Thank that you. is what it actually means to stand it's just there's one lab in wuhan and they've got a sort of jar one jar that says covid and one jar that says fentanyl we have to one grow our economy so that people have more money in their pockets we've got to look at the supply chain and make sure that we are funneling that so that builders don't have to sit there and go overseas to find things but one thing's interesting you notice that nikki haley there mentioned growth um as like the way in which to improve the lives of american people is through having more economic growth and this is a sort of thing that we're hearing said a lot in the uk as well um a lot of what keir starmer who is pretty much definitely going to be the next prime minister of the uk has been saying is 
that in order to improve the lives of people in order to be able to um like fund the nhs and other social programs we need to uh, instigate more economic growth sort of the reason that lives were able to be reasonably good for people who weren't incredibly well off in in much of the second half of the 20th century is whilst there were quite high taxes on um wealthy and on businesses what also happened is that there was um sustained economic growth for quite a long time like even though there wasn't a huge amount of redistribution of wealth going on there was a lot of economic growth and therefore people's living standards were going up through that we think that the boomer experience of life is a norm whereas actually it has been a abnormality from the way so much has worked in florida we doubled apprenticeships we have more truck drivers these are in-demand skills don't let anybody tell you that the only way you can be successful is through a four-year brick and ivy degree that's one way you I love the idea that they're specifically gonna take like they're gonna set up some sort of system whereby you apply for a gender studies degree which i, I don't think i've ever heard of anyone doing it like a bachelor's or associate's degree that is uh gender studies and then you get there and they're like haha no you're actually becoming a truck driver that's that's how this works the fact that sbf was able to do what he did at ftx shows that whatever they have as the current framework isn't working i love the idea that if you don't already know who sam bankman fried and ftx is that sentence made no sense to you working like, there's so and many like old republicans watching this who are like oh S sbf or ftx yeah Here's the dirty little secret in American politics oh. today. The people who we elect to run the government are not the ones who are even actually running the government. Deep state? It is the bureaucrats in those three-letter agencies that are writing regulations that Congress never gave them I... the authority to write. This and the feels good news is, close a enough. U.S. president can absolutely fix that. But if he doesn't it say it, we're going to give it. takes a U.S. president with a spine. So what I've said is in my administration, by the end of year one, we will have a 75% reduction in the number of federal bureaucrats. We will That's one. That's um uh Vivek uh, sorry, we said half the civil service and he's actually gone for 75%. I think I might give us deep state as well cuz he was alluding to the idea of the deep state i said with the gaza you had some of the the, the squad wanted to import three hundred thousand people from the gaza strip i said no we're not taking i i think we're giving that to ourselves as palestinian refugees would it our oh, base was almost positive sentiment towards elon musk i think i've never seen anyone set a bingo thing before but i think we put them in good places if we wanted to make it an interesting game because We've got a few, like, almost lines. Because of the anti-Semitism and because they reject American culture. So we've got to get smart about this. We cannot let the United States be like Europe. Amazing that he's talking about anti-Semitism using exactly the kind of language that in previous centuries and decades has been used, like, has been the language of anti-Semitism, right? This idea that people are coming to our country who aren't entirely assimilating and are keeping their own ties and have their own agendas like that is the same language just used towards a different group finish that was Look, father time is undefeated i don't know how he would score on a on a test but i know this we have an opportunity to nominate someone line. and elect someone for two terms it's real like the scythe comes for us all That, like, that should have been his line. The scythe comes from... Father Time. I think Father Time is like a... Is the Easter Bunny, but for time, right? That the government lied to us for 20 years about Saudi Arabia's involvement in 9-11. That the Great Replacement Theory is not some grand right-wing conspiracy theory, but a basic statement of the Democratic Party's platform. That the Bloody 2020 acting. election was indeed stolen by big tech. That the 2016... Oh, okay, big tech. I think we can have Silicon Valley. Uh, we managed almost a line at the top. Almost a line down the middle. Uh, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 
got 15 out of what 25 that that's over half yeah we did we we did we did good um yeah no wef um but thank you so much for watching everyone we 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 need i think we need to invent more games oh we could do some tier listing and we'll also do some some news next time as well some uh, would a few news topics next time we won't always do special things where we do uh one thing